What is up, boys and girls? It is Julian here back here with a, another video. Looking on the bench, you can see something purple. Something purple and blue because it's a loan card. Because I'm, well, I didn't have the money to go and buy him. Um, it is the player of the month, Ibrahimovic, um, from like November, something like that, quite a long time ago. Um, FIFA re releasing all these SPCs with, you know, these. He's got cool loan cards, you know, they've got the El Shawi, you've got Ibra, you've got uh, Sterling. Um, and also, Ibra's been pretty heavy in the news at the minute because it's still undecided on his future. If he's going to stay at United for the, for the rest of the year, train up, sign a contract in January, and um, and then, you know, re-sign re with United. Or, whoopsie, or is he going to go to LA Galaxy, the MLS, uh, Milan, you know, he's, he's very, very uncertain. So I thought today, I'm going to take his duplicates and see how well they do and if you don't understand what i mean by duplicates you got the syrian ebra you got the russian ebra there's lots of ibrahimovic there's so many different types you know so as long as they're lanky as fuck and six foot five force of skills move preferable um you know you know who i'm on about but the, the downside it's a four triple two and i hate this formation but it's the best formation to get every single player in on full chemistry um so Let's get into it. Goal. We go for the 86 rated, the informed Joe Hart. Um, currently at Torino. Well, he was at Torino alone. He's back at Man City. And he's actually just gone and passed his medical at West Ham. Which is a big good, good one for, get, for them to get. Because I actually uh, had a bet on them today. And they drew 0-0 to Sturmgratz's second team. So West Ham definitely needs some new players. And uh, maybe a new manager. Because uh, their manager's not very good. But anyway, get sidetracked. Joe Hart's informed card on FIFA, 87 diving, 90 reflexes, 85 handling, 85 positioning, and he is 6 foot 5, so he is a very, very, very tall player. Right back, we go for normal Carvajal, um, this team is ridiculously expensive, so skinting me out. Um, 82 pace, 74 passing, 79 dribbling, 82 defending, and 79 physical. He is a beast, and it is his upgrade card, which is really, really nice. Uh, first centre back we go for is the um, 89 Pat pulled for me, Sergio Ramos. actually pulled him in like a marquee matchup 25k pack like they're all rare packs so i was pretty shocked to get him especially because well it was when fifa was dead um but it's based at 78 pace 87 defending and 83 physical and then his partner is the legend loney uh rio ferdinand just because i want to get rid of his loans 81 pace at 90 defending and 86 physical very very nice card and he is an absolute monster and left back we could go for marcelo but i'm going to go for a different player i'm going to go switch it up because i always use marcelo we go for dalbert 90 pace and 79 dribbling 72 defending 70 passing and 73 physical five foot 11 as well so a very 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 nice card this is where the team gets good first cdm we've got the team of the season at glashikov 74 pace 84 dribbling 83 shooting 85 uh, defending 84 passing and 83 physical hullet gang except for his pace which is irritating and he was pretty expensive 45k is quite extinct when i bought him uh, which was a bit irritating and then we go for al jasim 77 pace 81 uh, dribbling 75 shooting 80 defending 82 passing 84 physical just look at those stats five foot seven which is a bit annoying and he was 65k so he was a uh, it was pretty pricey, not gonna lie. First can we go for the team of the season, Carlos Eduardo. 70 pace, 86 dribbling, 86 shooting, 87 passing, and 84 physical. With a four star skill move, six foot tall. And again, he cost me 47k because of the SBCs you need the team of the season players for. So everyone's really, really expensive. Oopsie, I keep knocking a pole under, underneath my desk. We've got for Quincy Promises, inform striker card, bring her back to cam. 73, uh, sorry, 93 pace, 87 dribbling, 87 shooting, 82 passing. And he's also got 75 uh, physical with the four star skill moves as well, which is really, really awesome. First, Ibrahimovic. It is the Syrian Ibrahimovic. Uh, Omar Al Soma. Six foot four, high low work rates, four star skill moves, four star weak foot, 86 pace, 90 dribbling, 95 shooting, 88 passing, and 92 physical. This guy is absolutely mad. And then we go for the Russian Ibrahimovic, which is Artem Zuba. Six, six foot five. But only three star skills and three star weight for 80 pace, 86 dribbling, 90 shooting, 84 passing, and 95 physical. Those guys are absolutely mental. Let's compare these guys to Ebra in a minute. So Al Summer has is quicker, better shooting, better passing, same dribbling, a better defending, and same physical. And then we also want to compare Ebra to um Zuba. And Zuba has got better pace, worse shooting, worse passing, worse dribbling, better defending, and better physical. So all in all, they're pretty similar to Ibrahim Ibrahimovic. You know, this is his nice. 92 card it's not his base stat 
and it's not his base, uh, his highest rated card, whereas this is actually their highest rated cards. So, it's, well, they're, they're just Ibrahimovic. You know, they're Emre Ibrahimovic reincarnated. What we're going to do, we're going to go into the weekend league qualifiers, try and get my, myself that team of the tournament player. Probably not going to play all games in this video, because obviously what happened with Toto, I got very, very irritated. But, enough jabbering. Let's get the first opponent. Right, so round one, this guy's got a pretty pretty funky looking side. He's got Stegen in net, Hugo Mano, uh, Masaccio, Jimenez, uh, Gaia, uh, Gabi, uh, Fernandez. I think that's like, I can't remember that guy's name, but I know he's like 34 pace. Iñaki Williams, a striker, Carlos Vela, and I didn't actually see his left winger, which is, uh, oh well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm sure he wasn't amazing. Most teams now aren't going to be that incredible. Because not many people really care about the weekend league, but I'm still going to try because I really want that for champions. But oh, the team of the tournament player, what we're chatting about. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. I don't know how we haven't scored yet. I, I realised from the off that this guy wasn't taking things very seriously because all he was doing was sliding around. So, I've just been messing around to be honest and haven't managed to get a goal. Although, we've got Al somewhere in the box. Good block by Masaccio. We've got another corner. I'm just going to take it with Carl Howell, I can't bother to change it. Swing that in, that's Carlos Aguado, who's off the bar and in. When you've got a striker that's 6 foot 4 and another striker that's 6 foot 5, you'd really expect them to be getting the ball in corners. But no, it's our 6 foot tall Cam, who puts us 1 0 up with a very nice header off the bar from a corner. Oh, that's great bit of dribbling. I don't know why I tramped it, I just. I don't know why I did that. That corner was a waste. Carlos Eduardo to Juba. Of course he's going to get his head on that with his massive body. Great bit of play, great dribble and uh, pretty good start considering if I had to hate this formation. Uh, also, if you can hear my controller clicking when I press B, it's more, I've got a new controller and the B button is obviously fresh and sticking. So that's all that noise is. I don't know why. Nice and easy. This guy is really not trying. I'm, I'm expecting a rage quit. Let's pause it and see if we get one. We don't. We don't get a rage quit. We are 3 0 up. A very nice finish by Carlos Eduardo. Let's see how long he's going to stick around for, though. Half time. 3 0 up. Nice and comfortable. I don't think this guy's actually had a shot, except for whatever that was. If it was a, a boot or a shot, whatever. Hoping for that rage quit. Really, really hoping for that rage quit. Yeah. 10 shots, 8 on target, 60% possession. We've, uh, we've dominated. That's. <laughs> Just continue this in the second half. Oh, not. He's rage quit. Second round, let's go. Right, second opponent has got a fucking ridiculous side. He's got a foot champion in Yamari net. And I know the inform's not very good. He's got Tot, Pereira, Marquinhos, uh, Thiago Silva, SBC Kazawa, Man of the Match, Matsuidi, Team of the Season, Siri, uh, Taliso, Buda Boos, Lamar. And he's also got the SBC at Lacazette as well. So a ridiculous, ridiculous team. Let's see if we can beat this. And um, can continue to uh, there, there, there. Got my words out. Continue to progress. Oh, great double save by Joe Hart. That was uh, that was really, really nice. Those sort of shots will always go in as well. Oh, another good save by Joe Hart. And see what he's doing is getting it on Lamar's left and just trying to hit it as low and hard as possible. Right, half time, nil nil. Being dominated. This guy is ridiculous. His team is ridiculous. Um, we've had one shot, one on target. He's a three and three. We've had yet more possession, more possession, which is quite weird. I thought it would have definitely been in his favour. And an eighty percent passing for me, eighty two for him. Bogs down a game really, just sweaty end to end. Let's get into the second half. Hopefully. Come out with a win and get into the round uh, round three. Oh my god, how did Thomas Lamar not score that first shot? That was a ridiculous chip. Obviously he gets the second because there was no one near him. And um, 
yeah, that's, that's, that was just a ridiculous attempt of a shot. 1-0 down, which is uh, expected when you look at this team on paper. Instantly, literally, instantly, from kickoff, uh, Promes runs down the wing, a bit of one-two with Al Sommer, and just dips that in to Artem Zuba, who's running into the box. A nice header, and uh, and yeah, we definitely should have saved that. But look at that, 61 and 63, and we're one all. Oh, Al Sommer, one on one. How has Thiago Silva gone and done that? Ridiculous. Oh, I just remember this is team of the season. That'd be why. Oh, that's irritating. We're going to extra time. I've had three shots, two on target at full time. He's had six and four. Again, possession in my favour. Passing has improved. And we are really, really struggling to get a goal. I'm not liking our summer. So I'm actually going to take off our summer and bring on the real deal. The actual Ibrahimovic. We're going to bring the boy on. Hopefully, he's going to, well, he's just going to do, do the business that he usually does. Oh, another incredible save by Joe Hart. Lamar's going to have Carvajal done because he's got no stamina left. Oh, Taliso has gone and scored. He, he brought on Plattenhart, which is weird. I don't know why he's brought on Plattenhart, but he's also brought on Ed and Dzeko. Assuming, I'm assuming team of season, considering the fact this team he's got. And basically, uh, he created that goal because he just bullied his way through my entire team. But we are 2-1 down. Right, it's time, half time. 2-1 down. We've got 15 minutes to at least get one back and send us into penalties. And it's been pretty end to end. It's been a really, really good 115 minutes. Uh, both teams, 105 even, sorry. Both teams playing really, really well. Um, again, he's had the shots in in that half. But, you know, let's get into the second half of extra time and see how it does pan out. Dzeko nearly made it free and put the game out of our reach. Look at that, 11 saves for... Um, what a block by Dalbert. That's 11 saves for Joe Hart. And that was an incredible block. Right, we've got breakaway. I'm, f I'm very irritated we lost that at the end because we piled on the pressure and he was just booting it away. The annoying thing was we uh, our stamina was out of that team um, at the end of that game. We're going to play one more game. Uh, obviously, we had the rage quit at the first game. So we will jump back into a third game and actually it will be Red Ferdinand's last game of the cup. Let's go get the third and final opponent. Right, and our third and final opponent has got a very, very random team. He's got the non-upgraded Buckland footies in net. He's got uh, Valencia, the footies Smalling, one to watch Umtiti, SBC Gazawa, Kante, he had team of the season Salah, SBC Kane, SBC Giovinco, Hazard, and I didn't see the other central midfielder. Uh, decent team, low chemistry, but the power of our strikers, I believe, in them. Okay, that touch from Carvajal was fucking ridiculous. The finish was just as ridiculous because it was his weak foot. Oh, Jesus. What a player. All, all made by Al Sommer. His strength was just ridiculous. Got it over to Promes and he just puts it to Carvajal who puts the best touch I've ever seen. The best turn and a wonderful finish. And 11 minutes in and we are 1-0 to the good. Oh, Zuba's one-on-one. -on -one. Very, very good save by Butland. Should have put that away. Play corner short to Dalbert. He's going to swing that in to no one. And he gets it clear. Oh, just Sim. Ah, oh, another good save by Butland. Oh, it was a great run. Corner really doesn't do much 
Oh, but Al Sommer still got the ball. What a run. Should have put that in the back of the net. He has not scored all the video. And I'm extremely irritated because he should have buried that. Right, half time. We are 1 0 up. A, uh, the only goal separating us is that absolute banger from Kiava Hiao. Uh, seven shots for on target for myself, one and one for him, even possession. And he has dominated that passing with 91 to my 82. Let's get the second half and let's get a goal with Al Sommer because he has not scored yet. Oh my god, Al Soma literally cannot get a goal. I don't know why he can't score. Corner of Carlos Eduardo. Even he can't win a header there. Oh, Joe Hart, you have literally been the saviour in this episode. He has made so many clutch saves. I just thank, thank him a lot. Artem Zuba steals our summer's goal, but I don't care, to be honest. I've gone and scored a nice low cross and an easy finish with the Butland completely out of his net. 90th minute puts us 2 0 up. Comfortable, comfortable win and um, pretty good team. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite, quite impressed. Definitely would say that Artem Zuba is the better Ibra than Al Sommer. Um, even though Al Sommer got an 8.5. Don't see how that is. Quincy Prom's got two assists. We've got man of the match. Zuba got himself at one goal. But, yeah. Let's go back over to the squad and hit the outro. Right, boys. Back over at the squad. And, yeah. The team itself was pretty decent. Obviously, we are now lose Rio Fernand after his 20 games. And uh, it was it was. It was decent. It's a very, very good legend. Carlos Eduardo did end the game with three, uh, three goals. Two, sorry. Two goals, three assists. Sorry. Um... Let's get to CDMs first. Al Jassim got nothing and so did Glushakov. But they were very good. Very, 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 very good CDMs. Gl uh, Glushakov in the first game was winning every head that came his way. Um, Quince Proms, no goals but three assists, which is pretty nice. Zuba with three goals. And then Al Smog with just one goal. Like, come on. You expect out of a 90 rated striker to, to play, play better than that. But yeah, Artem Zuba, definitely the better Ebra. Um, and in a better league as well, which makes hybriding make uh, makes hybriding sorry so much easier, uh, especially because he plays for the best club in Russia in Zenit. So yeah, yeah, that's been a video, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed. As always, links down in the description below to Twitter and Instagram. Go down there, drop me a follow, drop a like on the video, and drop a sub if you're around here. Till next time, guys. Have an awesome day, and I shall see you all later. Bye.